Hello, this is a quick look at two speakers today. I've got the WS150 and the WS300. These are both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi speakers and they're part of a new August range of multi-room speakers. So we'll start off with the August WS150. This is both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled. This is a really nice little portable speaker. It's about the average kind of size you'd get for a portable Bluetooth speaker, but it's got a few extra tricks with its sleeve. So you've got on off on the back, aux in, micro SD card slots, as well as the charging port. Nice chunky control buttons on top, as well as some status indicator lights. Along with the speaker, you get a charging cable, USB charging cable and an aux cable, and they're anti-tangle cables as well. So if you are taking this around, you don't need to worry about those getting tangled up. The WS300 is quite a bit larger than its smaller brother, and this is still portable, it still has a battery in, but it's probably more portable around the home or office rather than something you would throw in your bag and take around with you. The pair together though look great, you can see they have the same kind of style of design, they have the same matching grille around the side. On this one though, there's no micro SD card slot, there's still the on off button, but there's a USB out and that can be used for charging your phone. It still has the same nice chunky buttons on the top and the indicators and status lights are the same as well. Setup was very easy, turn it on, you can see it's got NFC as well. That light there is just indicating it's powering up, takes a few minutes to power up and it will switch to Wi-Fi mode first. You then use the app, free app for iPhone and Android, I'm on Android at the moment. It will search, you can see it's not found it because I've not set it up yet, say add device, enter your Wi-Fi password and this is important you need to make sure that your phone is on the 2.4 gigahertz network searching for wi-fi connection i didn't realize this straight away but the virgin super hub 3 actually has 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network available and my phone was automatically connecting to the 5 gigahertz network causing the speaker to fail setup Fail to connect Wi-Fi router. If you get that message, just check which network you're on. I clicked and found I was on 5 gigahertz, and I used a different device that was connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network. Searching for Wi-Fi connection. Waiting for Wi-Fi connection. This time there was no problem, the speaker connected straight away. Wi-Fi connected. It's a very simple process, you only need to do it once. When you turn the speaker back on, it will automatically reconnect to your Wi-Fi network and you can assign it a friendly name. So this is a portable speaker, so I'm gonna assign it Portable as the name and that's what it shows up as in the app and in things like Spotify. So you can see there's a wide range of services available. Uh, not all the services you might expect, there's no Apple Music, no Amazon Music, but you can play music locally. Although it will pick up any audio that's on your phone, not just music. If using a paid app, you might need to bob in your username and password, but there's also free stations such as the Tuning and iHeartRadio stations, and they work really well, stream directly. Or if you're using something like Spotify, it will open up the main app, and that allows you to then use the Spotify Connect service with the speaker showing up as its friendly name. If you're not going to use some of these services, that's not a problem. You can use the app to hide them and you can always reactivate them if at a later date you sign up to things like Tidal or Pandora. The sound quality of both speakers is excellent. I'll play you a clip from the WS150 first and then I'll switch to the WS300. The great thing about this speaker system is you can pair them up with others in the range. So we've got the WS150 in the middle and the WS300 either side. And these will work in conjunction with each other over Wi-Fi once it's all set up. And it's all controlled via the app. Very easy to do, very easy to pair up. And they'll all stream the same music at the same time. So to do this, dead simple. They don't all have to be on the same room. They just have to be on the same network. Load up the app and of course you don't have to have them all stream the same music 
you can have them all streaming separate music. That's going to sound a bit of a mess, but we'll uh, just demonstrate that anyway. So we're just selecting different tracks for the different speakers. So that's three different tracks, three different speakers. Now I want to make them all play the same and all you have to do is drag one speaker on top of another and it will create the link. And so you can do this in different combinations. So there I've got the dining room and living room playing the same track and now we'll do all three playing the same track. If you have them in the same room, the app also allows you to assign a left and right channel to the different speakers, giving you really good stereo separation. Now let's assume you do want to use these in a different room. This is a bit of a better demonstration rather than being all in the same place. You've got the little one in the kitchen and the two in the main area. You control this all via the app, although note that with paid for services like Spotify, you're going to need multiple paid for accounts when using separate speakers, but you only need one when they're working together. Let's put some local music on in the kitchen. So you can hear there, even though that's the smaller speaker, it gives a really nice room filling sound. But let's say someone else wants to listen to some other music, just use the app. And then let's say you've got some friends coming around and you don't want this disjointed sound throughout the house. Well, as I just showed you before, very quick and easily, simply throw the portable one onto the two that are already joined. And that will create your multi-room music playback system. And it works really well, as you'll hear in a second, there's no lag between them. They all play simultaneously. So overall, I'm really enjoying these speakers. I think they offer great value for money. The networking capability is normally far more expensive, so they are great Bluetooth speakers, but the addition of that Wi-Fi capability is fantastic, gives you a lot of options. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.